While in Atlanta, I think it's appropriate for me to learn proper Southern etiquette. Here to help me do that is Cindy Haygood, is that right? That's correct. Cindy, hi, how are you? Glad to meet you. Quick question, first of all, you just met me. How did that go? How did I behave? That gra it was great. You had a really firm handshake. People like my posture. I yes. do stand very straight. You do. What is the secret? Uh, shoulders back. Uh, your feet should be squarely underneath your shoulders. Okay. So, and, and hands in front, a bad idea? Yes, because your hands are used for emphasis. So wherever you put them, people are going to look. Oh, yes. ouch. <laughs> so at home right here is the best place. Sometimes I walk around like this. Is that a mistake? That's a mistake. Uh, I have greeted you, a firm handshake. I'm, and it's two pumps and then down. What? The, the milkshake idea doesn't work here because it wears somebody out. So it's just- Two pumps. Two pumps. And then and down. Then down. Mm -hmm. Just you describe don't. my wedding night. <laughs> Bingo! <laughs> Reading from left to right is a napkin, a salad fork, an entree fork, and then your dinner plate, of course. And uh, it's a plate? Mm -hmm. That's a dinner plate. Thank you. Good. And then... Knife. Mm -hmm. Spoon. Mm -hmm. Long, skinny spoon. And this is a piece that... What is this, to, what is may, this spoon for? This that, is... That may be... Cocaine. So, a southern okay. piece. <laughs> You spoon the soup away from you and then convey it to your mouth. Very good. Like ships that go out to sea, I spoon my soup away from me. Very good. What did you say? Try it again and I'll tell like it to you. Like ships? Like ships that go out to sea, I spoon my soup away from me. And when the spoon has left the bowl, I cram the soup into my hole. Um, actually, you should... Is that a good sign? <laughs> no. How long have you been a student of Perfectly Polished? I have been polished? with Perfectly Polished for seven years. Okay. And, and what was your crime? <laughs> I'm noticing that Adam is very well dressed. If you don't mind, I would like to up my game. Certainly. Bruce, do you mind? <laughs> now it is you who is underdressed. <laughs> I'll ask you to leave my home. Get out. Ask him a question. Ask him a leading question to try to get to what he enjoys talking about. Mr. O'Brien, what is your favorite type of music? Um, oh, I just listen to whatever's on the radio. I don't care about music. What type of station do you listen to? I don't know. I just push buttons till I hear something that kind of sounds familiar. I don't care. Do you like to travel? I don't really like to go outside much. I like to stay in my house where I'm most comfortable. Well, what do you like to do at your house? I like to just sit in the center of my room and do as little as possible. So you like to sleep? I don't sleep that much. I can't sleep. I get these bad dreams. So you swap. How did that go? Not really great. I was honest. I would call you close to being charm free because you didn't match his level of enthusiasm for conversation. He didn't ask me about stuff I cared about. He was trying to get there. Well, he didn't get there, so I guess it's my fault. Well, you, we'll swap it and you start the conversation. What's your name? My name is Adam McLean. What do you like to do? I like to play sports. I don't like that. What else do you like to do? I like to go to the beach. I don't like the beach. I get burned. What else do you like to do? <laughs> I like to fish. I don't like fishing. Fishing's creepy. I like to lay at my house and do nothing. Oh, that's something you and I have in common. You're welcome at my house anytime. Thank you very much. Look at that. We found a common yes. ground. Very good. Very, very good. And one, one instance of um, great conversations could be maybe something that started with an A, something that started with a B, or something that started with a C. Have you ever been to Anaheim? I have never been to Anaheim. Uh, have you ever met Beyonce? I have never met Beyonce. Do you ever watch Conan O'Brien on TV? I have watched Conan O'Brien. Have you? Uh, yes, I have. I find him delightful. He's excellent. Pleasant guy. Um, F. F. What'd you say? F. And that guy likes to... Fish. Fish. <laughs> You're teaching people to be insane. You broke this boy. You broke his brain. Look at him. You've turned him into some kind of robot dressed as Louis Farrakhan. I uh, have studied with Cindy extensively, <laughs> and I now believe that I have reached master level, and I will now judge the students. Very good. What are your interests, sir? I'm interested in horticulture. Horticulture. 
that uh, is the study of plants and leaves. Yes, sir. What is your favorite plant? All of them. All the plants. Good answer. You've not offended any plants. <laughs> Very good to meet you both. Why have you let go of his arm? You lost interest when you heard that he was a horticulturalist? <laughs> Slightly. Slightly. May I ask you what your interests are, young lady? I dance. You dance. Could I see you dance right now? No. <laughs> you would rather not? Would you like me to dance for you? Yes, please. <laughs> what did you think of my dance? <laughs> a graduate of the Manners School. What did the dessert cutlery go? in relation to the plate. On top of the plate. Very nice. What's the long skinny spoon for? Uh, soup? No, uh. Could you drop and give me three push-ups, please? <laughs> three push-ups, right now, let's go. Just three. One, two. I have to say, I'm impressed. You're a fine looking group, you're kind, and you're knowledgeable about manners. Well, let's face it, one of you is a murderer. By walking you through the case, I deduce that it's you, sir. <laughs> Four hours ago, you killed the butler, didn't you? Uh, you hit him with a long, thin, what kind of spoon? Drink spoon? He just admitted to murder. <laughs> Thank you, sir. That's how you confess to a crime, politely.